Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carla Soares Weiser, and I'm Cochrane's editor in chief. And I'd like to talk today about global health disparities. It's undeniable that the recent years have intensified rift between high, middle, and low income countries. I've been an advocate for social and health equity for over 30 years, a passion ignited during my medical internship in Brazil. My alma mater in Brazil used to send final year medical students like me to rural areas. The aim was for us to immerse ourselves in primary health care and expose us to the effects of social health determinants. I was posted to a village named Itaipé that shockingly men lived without the basics, without sanitation, health, or education. In this setting, I understood that before healthcare could improve, the local authorities need to prioritize it. In a twist of fate, to get the town's influential mayor a cachaça distillery owner on board, I found myself sharing a drinking with him. This was not an endorsement for the spirit, but rather a testament to the need to understand and respect local dynamics. One profound memory from that time was diagnosing a child with a scrofula, a very rare form of tuberculosis. Visiting the child home was an eye-opening for me. He lived in a crowded space with numerous TB-infected relatives. This encounter fueled my determination to establish a healthcare facility there and to address the root cause of such disparities. Sadly, as we stand here today, conditions like TB, which were on a decline, has seen a resurgence due to the pandemic. These alarming trends extend to many diseases, underscoring the gross health inequities that persist. For me, the solution lies in collaboration, community engagement, and giving people a voice. We must work together to ensure everyone, irrespective of their geography, has access to trusted evidence to inform care. And this is why I proudly support the World Evidence-Based Healthcare Day, and particularly this year theme of promoting global health equity. Thank you.